Hello and welcome inside the field house of Van Lutheran High School. We've got some C team volleyball action here today. I am Gunny Sippert and I'm accompanied by Stephen Krause here as the C team Lady Lancers get underway in their second game of play this week. They had a quad at Whitehall last week. They lost two sets to one to Fall Creek on Tuesday. The Lancers will be taking on the Mondovi Buffaloes from the Dun St. Croix Conference. Don't have names for the Mondovi squad, so I'll be going by the numbers on their jerseys. Luckily, they're pr pretty big numbers, and you'll be able to see them throughout the broadcast, hopefully. We'll get a text line up there at probably the first timeout. Didn't, have, didn't think to get that before we went on. And we're going to go. Mondovi will have service first. Over to the Lancers. We'll get the starters to you momentarily for each side. Mondovi right now, number 20 to serve, 17 and 14 in the backcourt with her, 11, 21, and 23 up front. Here's the serve. Yeah! Service was attempted to be received by Jaden Caro, but off the side of her forearm, and it'll be Mondovi taking a 1-0 lead. Again over, and that one just touching line. Lancer back row thinking it was going to be out. Ali Schaller there, as well as Jaden Carroll, two freshmen, along with Lily Meyer, a sophomore in that back row. You want to pan over there quick, Steven? Oh, never mind. We'll get that to you momentarily. Third serve in a row from 20. And Jaden wisely lays off that one. Uh, the rest of the Lancers you can see right there. Number four, Lauren Gurgle, a sophomore. Now to serve another sophomore, Melina Buck. And up in the front court, number three there is a freshman, Morgan Bobeck. Serve from Buck is over. Nice one. Set from 20. And 21 and 11. Had the communication there. 11 just didn't listen to 21. 21 and called her off. And the Lancers get their second port and not this up. Another good serve from Buck, but just out. You can see line judge Jesse Peterson there, a college student here. Over on the opposite corner tonight is Ed McCleary. Both college freshmen here in this new school year. Here's the serve from number 11. Over. Nice up by Melina Buck. And a bump set by Lauren Gurgle. And a nice slicing third hit over by Jaden Caro. And Jaden has done a good job recovering after those first two serves from number 20. Got the buffs out 2 to nothing. Lancers on a 3-1 scoring run here. And Avery Quam, another freshman, coming in to serve here for the C-Team Lancers, as well as sophomore Megan Johnston. Megan Johnston, all the way from British Columbia, only Canadian student here at Emmanuel, and only Canadian student that's been here in my time here. I believe since Michael Rhyme, she's probably the first Canadian student. He graduated with the class of 2012. Serve over, nice serve by Quam. 21 with the up, and they've got to get it over. They do. Molina, set by Quam. Nice hit by Ali Schaller in the middle. And the Lancers go back up on top, 4-3. to three. Ali Schaller, lanky and pretty tall in the, that middle hitter position. Looking good on that point right there. And the service return from number 14 goes a little wild. Her teammate can't track it down, and the Lancers again. Getting the point there, going up early here in the third set. The Lancers are coached by the mother-daughter duo of Beth and Katie Sandine. As we get back to the action here. Oh, miscommunication there from the Lancers as Lily Meyer was ready to take it. Melina Buck had it until the last moment. She let Lily take it, and Lily wasn't all the way prepared. Number 21 to serve. It's over, and nice up by Lily. That's a tough serve. Quam's got to go over. She does a good job there. And dropping in was the ball between a bunch of Mondovi buffs. Allie Schaller coming out for Abby Eichley, as well as Josie Nauman, a freshman, coming in for Lily Meyer. All freshmen and sophomores on the C team. They've got 
a good number, 12 players. Probably makes for good practice of six-on-six six drills. Here's Abby Eichley, number six, with the serve. 20's got to push it over. Good recovery by Eichley, and here's Johnston over. 17 over. Nice job by Buck there. Good hit by Nowman. Josie with a nice spike. Didn't get quite down, and back over to the Lancers it goes. Set by Quam. Another chance for Nowman. This one not so successful. She's got to shake that one off. So the mother-daughter coaching duo of Beth and Katie Sandine. I think technically Beth is the head coach and Katie assisting her. Katie was on that regional championship team last year for the Varsity Lancers. She played back row, some great back row and service, and is now a student at UW-Eau Claire, if I'm not mistaken. Serve from number two there is way too low, and the Lancers remain up two. Jaden Carroll with the serve here. Younger sister of Austin Carroll. And that tips off the net. Number 11 can't dig it. And an ace there for Carroll. Eight five Lancers here early in the first set. Serve is over. The first hit, or the return, goes over back to the Lancers. Buck trying to go. Diagonal, catch that far side line. She overpowers it, and that'll be a Mondovi point. Number 14 to serve, taking a big head start here. Crystal Sitto, a sophomore, in for the Lancers for the first time this match. Number 14 gets it over. Good placement, and Johnston can't get a good up on it. Number 14 will serve again. Try to tie it up here for the Lady Buffs. Number 14 to the serve. Another good one. Good up by Eichley. Bump set from Quam. Buck gets it over. Good set up here for the Buffs, though. Nice block by Nauman. Nauman and Johnston both went up. I think it was Nauman who got the block. And Buck's got to send it over. Bump set for the Buffs. And they can't get it over. 17 and 13. Having trouble there. And back in come Bobek and Gurgle. Freshman and sophomore, respectively. Have only yet to see Melanie Gerbitz on the bench. We'll be seeing her shortly, I'd imagine. Johnston and Quam head out, and Lauren Gurgle will serve for the first time. Try to get you... Uh, rundown of the service rotation. Lauren Gurgle hitting the stats keeper, bookkeeper in the side of the head there for Mondovi at the end of the bench. Or the head of the bench. 17 serve. 9-8 in favor of the Lady Lancers. 17 staggering her foot there and it ends up being a good serve that drops in and ties things up for Mondovi. Looking to take the lead here is number 17. This one, not dropping in quite as sharply. Eichley's got to get it, and over was the task for Crystal Sitto. Tough play there as she had her back to the net. Number 17, again to serve. She's gotten the buff to the lead here. Gurgles return goes past the backcourt, and... The first hit is being seeming to be a problem here for the Lancers off of this service, off of this server. Another one over. Better up there from Bobek. Bump set from Nauman. Touch over by Gurgle. Just rolls over. The drive from the backcourt by 14. On the second hit there, not getting over. Lily Meyer and Allison Schaller are coming back in. The 
Lancers now down one. Lily Meyer to serve for the first time. No libero at the C team level. There's never been a libero jersey uh, that I've seen with this uh, C team. Over. Nice hit by 21, dropping in front of Lily Meyer to re regain a two point lead for the Buffs. Another member of the 2015 regional championship team, Kara Meyer, just walked in. She's sitting at the scorer's table right now. A lot of the players from that team are still staying around volleyball, even if they graduated, and the Lancers can't get that point there. Both Kayla Bartles and Brooke Lenland playing college volleyball this season. A great serve by number 20 there, dropping in. And now the Buffs have their largest lead of the game at four. This match will be played three sets, best two out of three. And I believe all three sets are to 25. The third one may be to 15. That one rolls off of Crystal Siddow's form and a timeout called here by Beth Sandy. And I will get that text line up in case there are any problems. Alright, sorry about that, and now we've got it up. If you want to give me a text just in case something's going wrong or you have a comment about the game, 920-216-1978 is the place. And as we take a time out here, the Lancers trying to regroup as they're now down by five. Largest lead of the game for Mondovi. Both the JV and varsity teams are headed for their first Dairyland matchup tonight. They're traveling to Gilmanton as we speak. The JV game starting at 6 and varsity 7.30. If you want to listen to the varsity game, uh, Lancer fans, tune in on Mixler. They made a post about it on the Emanuel Facebook page as well as the Emanuel Athletics Facebook page. And it's also on the Daily Bulletin. If you want to find the link for that, just go to Mixler.com and find... ILHS Sports, Prof. Ross Rail will have the call of the varsity game in Gilmanton. And that serve from 20 into the net. Beth Sandin doing a nice job of icing the server there. And I believe the Lancers are back to where they started in rotation of service. Malena Buck. Up for the second time. Here's a serve. Nice serve by Milena and an ace dropping in there. This one too strong. Good communication there by Mondovi. Leads to another point, and they're up four. Nine within taking the first set here. Serve over by 11. And an ace. If I'm not mistaken, the Mondovi also back to the beginning of their service rotation. 11, again over. Nice dig by Lily Meyer, over. But a free ball for Mondovi, 19. First hit of the game for her, I believe. Nice push over by Gurgle, it's not gonna drop. 20 up for 21. The hit to the back row, and again, Meyer and Buck with a lack of communication.
11 again to serve. Nice up by Lily Meyer, just over the net though. Unwise there by Mondovi, pushing it back over. They had a free ball. Nice drive by Schaller. 21 over, and Bucks got it. Gurgle to Carroll, and a nice hit by Jaden Carroll down the line. Good set as well by the sophomore Lauren Gurgle. And they're headed for a switch here. Johnston and Quam back in. Over and out goes Quam serve and the Buffs re regain their six point lead. Largest of the match by any team. Number 21 to serve, moving back from the front row to the service position now. Lily Meyer a little late to react there, and she can't get the up she wanted. And 21 to serve again. Now with Mondovi at 20. The Lancers just put some... Communication mistakes plaguing them here in the first set. Seem to be a more than adequately skilled team. And here's the serve from 21. Johnston takes it, and again, it's going to go too far out of the backcourt. Twenty-one to thirteen now in favor of Mondovi. That's a good up. Buck and over goes Quam. Another free ball for Mondovi. Twelve back over. Oh, and into that. I spoke too soon. Eichley back to serve and Nauman back into the middle hitter position. Serve over for Mike Lee. Good up by 21. And a dump over by 20. Mondovi thought they had it, but now it's Emmanuel taking the point. You could hear the beginnings of celebration there, as that was a great dump there by 20. Over had the Lancers napping, but I couldn't remember who. Some Lancer made a very good dig. And Ike Lee's second serve into the net. Now it's 22-15 in favor of Mondovi. Close to taking the set here. The Lancers can't afford many mistakes the rest of this first set. Number two to serve. Over. Good up by Nauman. Quam to Caro. Carroll gets it over, leaning back a little bit. She didn't get the exact hit she wanted. And a Lancer in the net gives Mondovi that point. Twenty-three to fifteen. Make that sixteen as the Lancers get an unforced service error there from Mondovi and Jaden Caro to serve now. Number 13 with the service here. Good serve by the freshman. Tough return there from 12. She ends up getting a third hit too. Nice job by Eichley. They've got to save it. And Lancers can't dig out that third hit. Crystal Sitto back in and it's set point for Mondovi. Looking to head up 1-0 in this best of three. Number 19 with the serve. Can't get it over and the Lancers still have life. Whoever the server is here will have a tough task as she will need to get at least seven in a row 
keep the Lancers in this. It'll be Lauren Gurgle. We only saw briefly serve earlier. Gets the first one over here, but it's going to be out. And Mondovi is going to take the first set with a margin of victory of 8. It's 25-17. And the clubs will switch sides. Most likely we'll get in three sets, even if one team does take the first two. Even if Mondovi wins this next one, they usually have enough time. And there's no game after this, so no rush. Lancers had the lead early in that set when the single, single digits, but struggled to keep it as the set progressed. As I said earlier, the JV and varsity teams heading to Gilmanton tonight. Typically, the Lancers have been on top of the Dairyland, but as they lose nine of their players from last year to graduation, nine seniors, and all contributors, as far as I can remember, Almost all got playing time consistently, and especially a, a seven regularly, or seven or eight even. A lot of turnover on the roster for the varsity team, as well as the JV team. Almost a brand new squad there, too. So it'll be a tough year, not a rebuilding year, though, for Emmanuel, as they've got an abundance of talent at all three levels. Looking to keep the program intact and looking to keep winning as they did last season especially at the varsity and JV levels Gilmanton uh, also in the small Dairyland for basketball I went off on a little tangent there but the smallest school in the Dairyland uh, down, they came here last year and I believe the Lancers won three sets to nothing so we'll see if, if that's not the case here tonight and you, again you can listen on Mixler to the match between Emmanuel and the Gilmanton Panthers. We head to the second set here, another minute or so. In other Emmanuel sports news, the first cross country meet of the year was last Friday at CFC. Dan Lau taking second, only finishing behind the same runner he did last year at the same meet, a runner from Arcadia. So Dan Lau taking second, the team taking sixth out of 12th for the boys. Austin Carroll also finished in the top 20 at 19. Henry Lau was the next finisher. I did not get his place, nor anybody else's. And only two runners for the girls this year, senior Jackie Gerbitz and freshman Miriam White Knight. I did not hear how they did either. So not enough for the team there. I think Miriam got 15th. Oh, wow. Okay, and... I would assume Jackie would be hired just with her amount of experience. So a good showing there for the girls. Oh, I believe also Katie Mayhew is running for the girls as well. I don't know if she ran the meet. But the second meet of the year is tonight in Stanley Boyd. In fact, they're probably starting up around now, if not having already started up. And they also have a meet Saturday at Fall Creek. And the Lancers will begin with service. It'll be key to keep service on their side and play mistake-free, especially when uh, balls are coming over from the other side. That's usually when miscommunication strikes is that first hit. Elena Buck with the serve. Line drive. Impressive. Right off a of 19's bump and off to the right. A wicked serve. You don't see that much. Especially from a standstill. That was almost like the path of a jump serve. That one curving a little bit. And we're tied up 1 1. Number two with the serve over. Buck taking charge. Good communication there. And Bobek's got to go over. Hits too low. And into the net. Serve over from number two. Nice dig by Lily. And a great up. Set to Caro. And again, leading back on that, but she gets it over. 
Same area for the hit there by Mondovi. Carroll goes over. Might have been heading out. Number two, trying to save it is 21, and the Lancers will regain service. Avery Quam coming in to serve, as well as Megan Johnston coming into play for the Lancers. <laughs> Served by Quam, over and in. And an ace as it rolls off of number 13. Five sophomores and seven freshmen on this team for uh, the C-Team Lancers. Service over. Number two hits it over backwards. Fit uh, Lily there. And a push over by Johnston. And that will lead to an Emmanuel point. Lancers up two here. Another three freshmen playing at uh, JV and varsity level as Quam, a fellow freshman, gets the service here. Jillian Gamble is playing JV, and then Bryn Scherenbeck and Lindsey Setter are both splitting time between JV and varsity as all three of those uh, members or former members of the Berea congregation as the Sittos moved. Uh, all very impressive early in this season. I saw them play at that JV Triangular on Friday. And that whole JV team looked pretty good against North. I didn't get to stick around for the Memorial game. And our apologies for not broadcasting that Memorial game. We just had a bit of miscommunication. I'll try to get the results for that and let uh, people know on the broadcast, uh, broadcast soon. Again, the ball hitting the antenna for Quam there. And suddenly the Mondovi's up three. Good up by Lily, and Caro decided not to hit that as it was possibly heading into the net, she thought. Serve is in, and the return is back over. Number 13 hits it over. Lily to Quam. Good bump set, and slicing it over is Caro. Out of bounds, however, and another point for Mondovi. Serve for 11, goes into the net, and the Lancers get service back. I believe that the uh, Emmanuel versus Memorial game, Memorial won two sets to one. Okay. A really close game. Do you know if they won, Emmanuel won the last one or the second one? or? They won the first one and lost oh. the last two. What? They won the first one and lost the last two. Oh, okay, gotcha. So a tightly contested game there. I don't believe North and Memorial send their real actual JVs. It might have been their freshman team. Good serve there from Abby Eichley for an ace. Serve again in. Good up by 21. She'll get it back. And she puts it where nobody else is. Helping Mondovi regain service. Now 21 serving. Good job by Nauman, but it goes back over. Thankfully, they get it right back, and a bunch of one hits here. And it ends up working in favor of Emmanuel. Jaden Carroll is there. A nice one to the back row. Good set by number two. And Eichley's first hit is too low. Goes under the net. Crystal Sitto coming into the back row. Yeah. 
as well as two subs for Mondovi. Number 20 with the serve over. Nice up by Eichley. Not the greatest hit by Aklam, but they recover. And in fact, they get the point as that goes out off the dig for Mondovi. 9-8, Mondovi up here on top of Emmanuel. The Lancers don't play Mondovi much often in anything except for C-Team Volleyball and JV Baseball. The Lancer Varsity Volleyball team does go to an invite in Mondovi late in the season, typically. I attended that my freshman year, I remember. and I, uh, It's not a guarantee that they play Mondovi, I don't think, but it is hosted there. Mondovi's actually on, on the way to Gilmanton, so the JV varsity bus will be passing through there tonight. Gurgle to Bobek, and Buck over. That's going to head out, and you can see Ed McCleary down on the line there. He was waving his flag. Ten eight Mondovi served by fourteen. A nice one. Again, going past the back row as Bobak was sliding in on her uh, return there. Number 14 moving to the other side of the court. Serving in the same spot, though. Good save by Gurgle. It's just going to go over the antenna and out of bounds. Lancer's communication has kind of fallen off. Let's see if they can get it going here. And that one's into the net. Service again regained for Emmanuel. Lily Meyer coming in to serve, as well as Allison Schaller coming in to the front row. Good serve over by Lily. Nice save by 20, and a good set up for 17. Good placement by Gurgle. Touch over by 20, and Gurgle again gets it. Schaller called off Bobek, but it rolls off her fists and under the net. Lancers down four here. Serve over and in, and Schaller cannot get it up. It's a, it's a double hit. And an ace for number 17. And that one heads into the net. That seems to be the only common problem plaguing Mondovi today is service into the net or just not over correctly. The Lancers have also had their fair share of problems with it. But that seems to be the most common way the Lancers are siding out. Malena Buck to serve. Another bullet. And from the back row, number 14 getting that to drop in off the net. Impressive there. Again, 15 to 10, same score we had at the first in the first set at one point. From that point, Mondovi controlled most of the set. The Lancers should try to make a move here. They don't want to have to climb out of a seven-point hole like they did last set, or would have had to. Number two, Buck to Gurgle, set up for Caro. Nice hit by Caro. It's probably going to stay in. They play it. And off of a back row player and out of bounds. A point for Emmanuel. Plom coming back in, second in the service rotation. 
as well as Johnston. Good serve by Quam to the opposite corner. 21 with the pushover. Buck to Quam. And Schaller takes charge over. Two with a nice touch. Quam up for Caro. Nice hit by Caro. A lot of power behind that. 21 back over. And dropping in off the net. Best volley we've had all night here in this match. And Mondovi gets the best of Emmanuel. Lily with the up off the ceiling. First time we've seen that come into play. And Lily muscles it over. Number two. Weak over and not what Quam wanted to do there. Lancers get another free ball though. Nice touch by Avery. Nice block by Schaller. Doesn't drop in. And a nice save for Mondovi. Set up by Quam. And now this is the best volley of the match. Back to back. Over goes 21. Quam takes charge, but just too late. And Mondovi again wins another hard fought point. Good up by Johnston. Set from Quam to Caro, and that is going to be too far. Carol's got some good height on her jump, but she seems to be leaning back a lot, and that's causing her to not be able to get much leverage on it, and it's going higher and farther. That up, not so good from Johnston, and the bump goes out of bounds. Sorry about the camera problems there, folks. Just a problem we've been having recently. Number 11 to serve. Over. Again, the up from Johnson. Quam decides not, not to play it. It heads off the net. She wasn't prepared. And a, again, at a similar time in the set, Beth Sandine calling timeout. It seems like the Lancers' problem in this set is that they're not getting their first hit where they want it to go. Yeah. It's important. That's what you'll see at the JV and especially the varsity level. No matter what comes over the net, the back row players will always get it to the setter. That was a strength of Emmanuel's varsity team last year. Katie Sandin was a great example of that, along with um, Steph Kazemba. And, oh, it escapes me now, but so many other good back row players for the Lancers last year. And they've gotten it at times. Buck and Meyer have had, and Johnston have had, the occasional good up, but yeah, Steven, you make a really good point as it's not, and that's something you'll see at this level. Often you have to uh, work with what you can get off the first hit, but if a C team can get a back row player that can consistently get to the setter, that's a major advantage. Number 11 to continue serving here. Mondovi up nine. The Lancers have got to cut into the lead now if they want to win this match. Best two out of three. Serve over. And out. Good call by Meyer there and good communication from her teammates. Often you'll see uh, the team taking the timeout, take the next point. Eichley and Nauman coming back in. Seems as if um, Eichley and Nauman and Meyer and Schaller are pairs and they sub out at the same time. In fact, that is the case, as it's always uh, fixed rotation in volleyball. Eichley to serve. She's had a couple good ones here today. That's a good one. And an ace, in fact. Went just to the right of our booth off that return. Might have even almost hit this speaker over here. Good one from Abby, switching things up. A little bit less of a line drive. Number one can't save it. And the Lancers on a three-point streak here. Yeah. 
That one's going to drop in for an ace as well. Abby Eichley. Getting the Lancers back into it here. 20 to 15. Another good serve. 17. Bump set by two. And a good touch over. Avoiding the blockers. The dump from Nauman. No good. And Quam's got to bump it over. Free ball for the Lancers. Eichley to Quam. And Carroll's got to save it. Not the greatest set there. And Carroll can't get it over. Served by 21. Just staying in. It was a very sharp one. Just over the net. And it's 22 to 15. Uh, again, a score we saw in the first set. The Lancers couldn't come back from that. See how they respond here. 21. This time it is out. Good call by Nauman. And Jaden Carrot is there. Carrow's serve. In. Almost. Into the basket, seemingly. Uh, two Mondovi back row players not communicating their 1 and 21. And an ace for Carroll. Serve over. 13. Off the ceiling. Tough to play in this gym for opposing teams. Almost the seventh player. Especially at uh, the varsity level, you'll see all those high velocity hits, a lot of power and a lot of distance they travel, and sometimes that goes up. Line drive there by Carroll, and the Lancers slowly creeping back into this. They're only down four here. That was a great serve by Carroll. Haven't seen much off the ceiling today, but that ball two points ago, key for the Lancers, keeping this going. Another great serve. But a good return by 21. Over goes 17. Eichley with the sliding knee hit. And Johnston is well into the net. But the Lancers cutting the lead in half from where it was. Um, well, almost from where it was at 22-15. But even cutting it more in half from back of that timeout. They're down nine. Now only down four. Number 20 with the serve here. Over and out. And the Lancers inching ever closer to Mondovi. 23-20. Mondovi, Mondovi just needs to side out and get one more point to clinch this set and the match. Lauren Gurgle again with the task of serving here. She had a... Uh, the tough task of serving seven in a row potentially in the first set. That one rolls off the fingers of 23, trying to set it up from the serve, and Emmanuel only down two here. Number four, Lauren Gurgle, a sophomore. Her sister, sister Emma is on the varsity team. Lauren calls off Bobek, and Bobek ends up getting the third hit off the ceiling and over. Tough play, and not the time for a mistake like that here. Match point for Mondovi, up 24 to 21. Number 14. Gets the serve over, but again going out as it slices across and outside the near side line. 24-22, and the scoreboard gets updated there. And it'll be Lily Meyer to serve here. She needs at least two good y serves yep. right now. She's just got to get it over. Nobody's asking for two aces. Yep, needs two. It's win by two. Next point for Mondovi, it's still match point. So if they can score even off of Emmanuel service, they'll take the match. And a nice hit, a exclamation point 
on the set there for number 11. Probably the best bump set spike we've seen all day. And we'll most likely be playing a third uh, friendly set here. Doesn't really count for much because Mondovi won the first two. That set going by a score of 25 to 22. Lancers cutting the deficit by more than half from the first set when they dropped it by eight, only dropping it by three there. Improving throughout that set. Especially after that timeout. To be down nine and only lose by three in the set, it's a, it's a good thing to see in a team. And we'll be playing another set here. I think it'll be 215, as it typically they'll do at the JV and C team levels with a friendly set. I think sometimes when it's 1-1 one, one even, I think sometimes they go to 25. But I should really clear myself up on that. The ceiling can be a problem for the Lancers, too, like new freshmen who are coming in who are used to totally different gyms. Yeah. Most most gyms, in fact, probably all other gyms, don't have a ceiling this low. And this, um, it's not, how do I say, it's not flat. <laughs> There's a lot of jutting out pieces of uh, heating and lighting and uh, structural work. I mean, the ceiling's completely open if... I mean, you've seen it on the camera, this game, obviously. Unlike most other gyms, most gyms have rafters that are way higher. I can think of Augusta. Uh, Lancers will play at Augusta this year. Uh, just huge rafters, real high. Yeah, but it can be tough. I imagine they practice that at the varsity level as well as JV and C team uh, for Emmanuel because you got to play here over half your time all of your practices and half your games pretty much so you really gotta get used to this gym the courts the same size the nets the same height the ceilings just a lot lower and not many variables are thrown into play with a volleyball court or even a basketball court I feel like every once in a while it comes into play not really if you're getting your shot that high you got a bit too much arc but um maybe on like throws down the court if you're trying to break out of a press, sometimes it just goes too high. We head to a third set here. Lancers probably haven't even... Well, they've arrived in Gilmanton, I would imagine. They left very early for a 6 o'clock JV game. Only takes about 45 minutes to get there. So they'll be arriving... They left at 4.35... They'll be there at like 5, yeah, around now, 5.20. It's a long time for warm-ups, I guess. Depends how fast they get out to the court. So we won't have any updates for that because we'll be well over by the time this game finishes. Uh, Tuesday's C-Team game against Fall Creek was brought to you by... Juliana Hine and Cassidy Nelner. Juliana's on the JV team and Cassidy on varsity. As well as Noah Sitto, another sophomore, and Steven's a sophomore here too. Uh, four sophomores taking these last two games. Good to see. Line drive serve again from Buck. 21's got to go over. Meyer to Gurgle. Good set. Here's Caro. In the net she goes. Oh, in the net was Mondovi. I think first. Maybe even ha perhaps pushing it into Caro. And Emmanuel takes the first point of the third set. Another bullet by Milena. But a return ace for number 12 as it drops in. The Lancer's not expecting it. But yeah, if you're going to hit it hard, it's going to come back hard. Just like uh, hitting in baseball. Harder they throw it, the harder, farther you hit it. Good save there by Buck, and Schaller's got to go over. Free ball from Mondovi. Set up by 20. 21 takes the spike. And a point for Mondovi. Off a good trio of hits. Number 20. Good up by Bobek. 
Gurgle back to Bobek. Good hit. And it'll stay in play for Mondovi. Gurgle to Caro. And Caro goes over. It was probably going out, but number 12 decides to play it. And it goes to the back mat for an Emmanuel point. The Lancers are doing a lot better at talking this set than they have in the other two. They've been emotionally up all game, but yeah, just that little period from the end of the first set into the second set, I guess it was a little bit longer than I made it out to be just now, but yeah, not as much communication that was about the game. It was more just picking each other up. But they've done a good job of talking, and they take the lead here. Number 12 over. It's played by 19, and they can't save it along the line there. If you want to text in, the number is right to the right of your scoreboard on your screen. And here's the hit by 23. A bit of an off-speed hit there, as it didn't come exactly as the blocker Ali Schaller thought it would. That was a great spot, though. Yeah, it ended up working. Return by Lily Meyer. Tips off the top of the net. Johnston to Carroll. And push over by Quan. Number 20's got to hit it over backwards. Quan and Carroll. Carroll can't muscle it over. And Schaller's got to give it back. We're tied at four here. Served by 11. Buck to Quam, and that's exactly what Steven's talking about. A good, good placement for the setter, just not the greatest hit on that one. Again, Caro hitting it off the back line. That one going under the net. 11 just hit it wrong. And Eichley and Nauman coming back in. Likely had a great service streak back in the second set. Put the Lancers within range of winning it. Not so much here as that one goes into the net. Twenty-one with the serve over. Nauman plays it. Quam. And eleven, twelve, thirteen go over. Quam can't dig it out there. She had to go with the ball, trying to play it. And again, Mondovi up two. The serve from number 21. Over. Eichley returns it right back over, and it goes out of bounds. Number 21 again. Milena playing it. Eichley and three bumps for the Lancers. They get it back over and the point as Plum puts it in a good place where some miscommunication happened for Mondovi. Jaden Caro to serve. Jaden also from the Berea congregation, like those three I mentioned earlier. She's been playing a lot here today. In fact, I don't know if she subs out at all with the usual rotation. I believe her and Buck stay in at all times. 20 trying to push it over, but it would have ended up being four hits. Uh, line judge, or not line judge, um, head official Mike Buck calling a lift there. Retired prof Mike Buck. And Carroll into the net. Oh no, this is when Jaden comes out, when Crystal comes in. Seems like Buck stays in all the time, though. Yeah. 
And still waiting on substitutions here. Thirteen and two in for Mondovi. Nice serve by number two, just coming in off the bench, getting the ace. Ten seven in favor of Mondovi. That one going out. Bobek and Gurgle coming back in as those two are working in a substitution pair as well as Johnston and Quam. It doesn't seem as if Melanie Gerbitz has a regular substitution as that serve goes long from, was that Sido serving? No, that was Gurgle. That was Gurgle, okay. But I believe if Melanie does come in it will be for Milena as everybody has a their partner. It seems as if that's how it's working with 12 players. It is really a convenient number for the Sandine coaches to have. I believe there are 12 at each level this year. There might be... A they usually play 12 at the varsity level. At least they have been in practice. I've been up here the last couple days and they've been playing 12 in practice. Eleven nine in favor of Mondovi. Lily Meyer trying to knot things up here for the Lancers and possibly take the lead with a service streak. Good one there. Number two tipping it over in the net with somebody, and it's gonna be Mondovi as they give the point to Emmanuel. Another serve from Meyer. Good line drive. Set up by two. Middle hitter, 17. Uh, lob hit, and here comes Buck the other way. Nice spike from Milena. Dropping in. We haven't seen much of Milena in the front row today. Some great serves, but that definitely her best hit from the uh, spiking position. Number 13 can't serve it. Save it. Nice job on the third hit there. I believe it's number 14. Getting it over and regaining the lead for Mondovi. Number 17 here to serve. Over. No, excuse me. Not over. I'll say up. Up and into the net. As Carroll comes back in. Well, it just needs three good serves here, and then they got the set. Yeah, that's a simple way to get it. She has been the Lancers' best server today, and that risk with all that power is that it is going to go off the back line. Maybe Milena could develop into a jump server. Then you've got more of your force, I feel, going down, and the ball's going to drop more. Just a great amount of power. I feel like it's hard to get those to drop in, though, consistently. 13-12, as long as we're playing to 15, Mondovi's closing in on this third set. This will be a vital point here. Dropping in for the service ace, and now set point. And instead of being tied up, the Lancers are down two and have their backs up against the wall. Served by number 20 over and an ace. And seems as if that will be it. We are playing to 25. And the Lancers still have life. Milena trying to get it from under the bleacher. They pull it out and regain it. So Mondovi has got still a ways to go, and the Lancers are not out of this by any means. Three, three points is the deficit they can overcome. 
They just can't let the can't let the bleeding keep going for too long. Good choice there by Gurgle. Kind of got twisted around. Decided to hit it over, but it ends up being driven by number 21 to that back corner. Number 20 serves, is out. Might have caught line, but Jesse Peterson definitely has the better view over there. I couldn't tell as Lily was running after it. And Melanie Ribbit's coming in here. She's going to come in for Gurgle, though. I'm wondering if this changes up the rotation. It must, as typically it was um, Megan Johnson coming in for Gurgle. Served by Quam. Too strong. And while Mondovi's been serving more into the net, at least they were earlier, the Lancers have been serving off the back line at least a couple times just now by Quam and Buck back to back. In the rotation, Quam bumps it, and Carroll's got to hit it over. Ends up getting too high on the arm. Number 11 to serve. Into the net. Both teams are struggling a little bit with their serves right now. Yeah. It's the simplest part of volleyball, you could say. And it's also a very key part of volleyball. Even at the varsity level, you'll see it, uh, you know, plague teams. I mean... If you just string two together, two first serves, even one is uh, disappointing. But uh, yeah, if that strikes a team, especially in a meaningful game, or, I'm not saying this game isn't meaningful, that is not what I was trying to get across, but um, especially in like a playoff game or something like that, or a conference, a vital conference game, it, it strikes even worse for the team than it would in a uh, uh, non-conference game. Gerbitz to Quam and Gerbitz probably should have taken that one there. Nauman also sliding in trying to make the play. Number 21 with the serve. Over. Nauman, that's playable. Nice hit by Quam. That's a sharp angle there, right over the net. Lancers down three here. Number 13, Jaden Carroll with the serve. The return goes over. Good tip back down by Milena. She wasn't ready for that one, though. Push over by Klom. 14 with the hit. Good job by Eichley. Set up by Gerbitz. Pushed back over, and oh, Lancers can't get the point there. Another good volley won by Mondovi. Numbers 2 and 13 coming in for the Lady Buffs. Serve over, and Eichley can't make the play. And the uh, third time out of the game. One in each set called by Beth Sandine. Uh, the Mondovi coach hasn't had to call one yet, or hasn't chosen to call one. Thank you for tuning in, all who are uh, either on Ustream Live or on the YouTube recording. We appreciate it. Things are running up and smoothly here in the booth. They weren't so great on Friday for the JV Triangular, but we believe we've got uh, all the problems figured out. Ustream just wasn't working on Friday for some reason. We got that North game recorded, so if you do want to see that, it is on YouTube, JV uh, Emmanuel versus North. And we'll be good to go next Tuesday. I guess this is 
the last broadcast until then. Next Tuesday, we've got a triple header against Oliva Strum. C team at 4.30, JV at 6, Varsity at 7.30. And then the same times, another three games against Independence on Thursday. So six broadcasts next week. I'm just going to quick verify that with the schedule as we round out this match. Number two is serving. Serve up and over and off of Carroll. Jaden can't get the up there. Crystal back in, and 22-16 is the score here in this third set. Mondovi up six. Lancers need to mount a comeback now. That's a good way to start as service is given back to them. And indeed that is the case next week, except those C-team games will start at 4.45. So 4.45, 6, and 7.30, the times for C-team, JV, and varsity respectively. This Saturday is the Varsity Dairyland uh, Conference meet for the uh, Varsity Emanuel Answers. Every team but CFC goes to that meet, I believe. And JV has an invite at Memorial. Hit over and off the foot of Ikeley. Couldn't dig it there. As well as next Saturday, a uh, week from this, a uh, week from two days from now, nine days from now, yeah! as that one goes off of Crystal Sitto, and now it's set point. Uh, next Saturday, nine days from today, is the Emmanuel invite. Four teams playing here. It's been won by Emmanuel the last three years, at least, that I've seen. Last year, actually, it was just three teams. It was Prairie Farm and Elmwood. As Mondovi takes the third set here by the same score it was back in the first set. The Lancers showed uh, more signs of improvement in that second set, but again in the third set, falling by the same eight-point deficit. Teams will shake hands. And as we wrap up, it was really just service that plagued the Lancers tonight as well as communication problems, and you'll see that at this level. A well-fought match, but Mondovi ends up taking it three to none. Uh, again, tonight's Varsity Gilmanton game can be found on Mixler for Ross Rail. It'll be uh, by Prof Ross Rail. It'll be starting at 7:30. Thank you all for tuning in. Please tune in as well Tuesday as we've got a triple header against Oliva Strum. Signing off is Gunny Sippert and Stephen Krause. We thank you for joining us. Have a good night.